Hi, it's Mike again. Welcome to another how-to video. Today I'm going to show you how to build a rooftop tent cart. What's a rooftop tent cart? This is. So you can see it's pretty easy to wheel around. You know, these rooftop tents are like over 150 pounds. And uh, even for two people, it's kind of awkward. Uh, I live in the Pacific Northwest and I don't like keeping my rooftop tent on my vehicle all year round. So I like to store it. So uh, my garage isn't really big enough. So I have a nice waterproof shed. So I put it into the shed here. To get into my backyard is quite difficult. So I devised this carting system and the rooftop tent sits on the edge and it works perfectly. So what I'll do is I'll put a link in the description for the plans and all the parts this to build this and for around 40 bucks you can save yourself a lot of grief so continue to watch and i'll show you how i put it all together so here's a quick uh, list of the material and tools that i use to build this so first we're going to start with three one by fours and these are eight feet long and we're going to use some upholstery for the padding so you so you can slide the rooftop temp on uh, some angle iron uh, this is one and a quarter by one and a quarter angle iron, but you could use almost anything with that. Some ready rod or threaded rod. So this is five eighths threaded rod, two five eighths posi nuts or nylon lock nuts, two uh, wheels, dolly wheels. So these are like wheelbarrow wheels that I got from Princess Auto. You can uh, get a similar like from Harbor Freight. Uh, we got some ratchet strap. You only need one. And then we have some wood screws. So we have eight by three quarters, one by one and a quarter, and one by three quarters to screw it all together. And of course, we have the measuring tape, a staple gun, some drill and drill bits, a handsaw, a hacksaw, scissors, and a crescent wrench or a monkey wrench. Now, I do have power tools, but I'm going to show you how you can actually do this with just some hand tools. So people who don't have a lot of tools can fabricate this as well. So what you want to do is cut two of these pieces of one by four directly in half. They are eight feet long, so you have two four foot sections. So we'll just mark that up. So with the remaining piece, we're going to cut a bunch of 15 inch wide uh, stringers. So you could actually make this as wide as you need it to be, do a bunch of these and that will be our stringers and then we'll pull through that. And one and three quarters wood screws will assemble the sides. Use eight by one and a quarter screws. And we'll put some screws in the bottom for extra assurance. Make sure we don't go all the way through. You want to scratch your cover on your rooftop tent. There you have it. So the base frame is done. So now we're going to use this angle iron to um, fasten the wheels to that. So what I'll do is we'll just cut little pieces off and we'll drill some mounting holes and we'll drill a 5 8 pull through for the axle of the ready rod. So I'll do that and I'll show you how that gets done. So with the magic of editing, here we go. Here are our brackets for 
the axle. So basically it's, we'll be screwing these to the bottom and we have a 5 8 hole for the thready rod to go through. In the middle, so I'm going to measure exactly two feet. Two feet. So we'll fasten it by eight by three quarter socket head screws. So now we just want to kind of grip onto this. So I just got a pair of vice grips here. I'll just grip onto that and we'll just tie this on. Perfect. The last step now of this whole process is we're just going to drill some holes in here for the ratchet straps to go on to hold it down. So you just want to get the right size drill bit for your ratchet strap. You know, you don't need a really heavy one. This one's ready for 600 pounds. That's more than enough. So now that once all the holes are drilled, it's pretty much done. I get away with using one ratchet strap in my yard. Now, if you had a bumpy yard or a bigger rooftop tent, you might want to use multiple ratchet straps. That's up to you. So this cart here is actually for a friend of mine. He liked my cart so much, he asked me to build him one. And I said, sure, I'll build you one. And you know what? I'll do a YouTube video as well, because I think this is a cool idea and I haven't seen one of these before. So I hope this inspires you to build one for yourself, because I'm sure your back will thank you. Once again, thanks for watching.